Me and my sister actually have, a, this was like our matching tattoo. She had cancers. Every single day you had to give your serial number and she had it memorized by heart. And so after she was um, completamente limpia, sanita de, de todo el cancer, she got it tattooed. And then I got it tattooed after her. Hi, I'm Paloma Mami and this is my women's health body scan. What do I love most about my body? Well, I love most about my body is that I have a very healthy body. I drink lots and lots of water, I eat lots of fruits. I'm, I'm vegan, so I eat super, super healthy. Lots of fruits and vegetables. So I feel like my body is very appreciative of that and it's very light and always happy. Even when I'm supposed to be tired, it's still lit. <laughs> so I have, I probably have like four tattoos. I have like a couple on my feet, two on my my little like like ankle, and then I have one here. You can't see it because of my sleeve though. But um, me and my sister actually have a, this was like our matching tattoo that we have. That actually is matching just because I did it after her. She got it first. She it's her serial number when she used to be in the hospital. Um, she had cancer, so she would literally basically live in the hospital for almost two years and so every single day you had to give your serial number and she had it memorized by heart and so after she was um, completamente limpia, sanita de, de todo el cancer, she got it tattooed and then I got it tattooed after her. My sister is my best friend too so family for me is like my, my best my, my, my best friend, my core, everything so I'm waiting to get more matching tattoos with her. She's, she's the one slacking now like <laughs> I'm like, let's get some, get my face. Just kidding. I've had a, a couple piercings. I can't tell you where because my mom didn't know about them. So <laughs> I can't tell you because my fans wrap me out. They gonna snitch my mother and they won't show her this. So I can only say I did have more piercings, but I, I took them out. So now I just have my ears. Um, That's it. I have like, my scars are so stupid. Like I have like scars on my knees like very light scars because I was a little kid and I was like, I think I was like probably like 12 years old and there was a treadmill. I was like in the gym with my friend and obviously we weren't using the equipment. We were just like playing around in the gym and I thought to get on the treadmill while it was like on, I was barefoot too. I don't know. I don't know what the, I thought a treadmill was and I ran on it and I hurt myself very badly. And so now they have their scars. I didn't know better. <laughs> yeah, I don't really do anything specific. I always just have my routine where it's whenever I can like not be without makeup as long as I can. I always like aprovecho eso because you know having a lot of makeup every single day is terrible for your skin. But I always make sure to take it off really, really well. I feel like that's like the most important thing when it comes to skincare for me at least because I do wear a lot of makeup and. If you like don't take it off properly, that can cause to, you know, breakouts and stuff like that. So I always have like two steps and like the double step cleansing situation. Moisturizer is also very important, you know, but also like if you just drink a lot of water, like you're always going to be like your skin is always going to be like super hydrated. Like that's what it is. Honestly, I drink so much water. So yeah, it's just the water and the cleansing and the moisturizers. Together. Well, I started getting my nails done um, when I was probably like 16. I never was allowed to get them done before. Just cause like my mom obviously like didn't let me, I was little. She probably thought I looked stupid with long nails, you know? But in New York, I feel like that's basically where I, I picked it up from. Everybody in New York always had like long ass nails in the subway going to school. My sister even got acrylics when I was like 15, 14, 13. So she was like the first person I saw like, and I, I made fun of her, I remember. I was like, ah, you look crazy. Like it was really bad done too. So I remember that. So <laughs> now that I know, like I know who's good and who's not, I remember hers was pretty, pretty trash, so. It was worth making fun of her. But anyways, um, yeah, like I always have to have my nails, you know, on fleek. This is like part of my outfit for me. If I don't have my nails done, like I'm shy, you know, I'm not gonna be in the best mood. I'm not gonna be so nice. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> I know people that literally get them done like every week. They have like a new set, but like that's a little extreme. I get it done like every single time that I need to do something. Like I got these done now for my birthday. That's why these have 11, 11, 99. 
When it comes to my hair, I'm a mess. I can't do my hair. All I can do is straighten it. I don't even brush my hair. Um, I literally just wash it and like how it comes out is how it comes out. I really should like get a hairbrush. <laughs> I literally don't even have one. I don't. I just like do my fingers and then like when I get my hair done, like thankfully I had someone that had to do my hair today. You know, they brush it for me, but <laughs> I always just like rock buns. On my off days, just buns, ponytails, you know. I don't really care about my hair like that, but I should, I should. So it's super important, I think, for everybody during the pandemic to always be very healthy mentally. For me, it was always like what I've always done whenever um, I feel like I'm in a, in a stressful moment. I always write, writing helps a lot. Every single day, you know, like a journal, like as if it's your diary. I feel like that would help me a lot. If I hadn't written every single day, like I'd have all these emotions, like I didn't, I wouldn't know what to do with them, you know? And also I need nature around me at all times. So where I was at the time, I was in Puerto Rico, but I was like in an apartment in like the city, you know? So I wasn't able to be like with nature that much, sadly. But then I was able to eventually, cause I was like, I need to go to the beach. I need to get out of here. like. But I would just like open a window. I think lots of light is like really important. Having like everything neat. That's what my mom always says, you know, like una pieza, una, un cuarto, como usted dice, yo creo que se dice, un cuarto desordenado, una mente desordenada, así, like, you know. So I always have to be very organized and have lots of light in the room. I think that that like just lifts up the energy regardless. Like you start off the day good just with sunlight and um, a nice clean space.